started, I want to welcome everyone uh, to the call. What I'm doing now is just uh, scanning the market for a really good setup. So just uh, the top of the hour just hit. So I'm just setting up, looking for the right setup, okay? Just give me a second. Okay, how are you? Hey, how are you? Good morning. Or good evening. Yeah, man. All right. Definitely want to thank uh, Mike for coming down to Chengdu and sharing with you guys. Uh, his leadership is impeccable. We definitely thank him and thank Aaron and uh, Tian for, you know, being a great host. We want to thank them as well, too. Yes. Thank you, man. Okay, so. Yeah, Okay. Sabuji all right, Mike, we're going we're gonna to look at this uh, Euro-Canadian. Okay, now we're going to look at Euro-Canadian. Okay, so let's go. So yeah, Mike, just uh, type it in the chat, uh, the, the pair we're going to look together, okay? Pardon, please? Just ty type it in the chat or tell them the, the, we're looking at the Euro Canadian dollar on the uh, 15 minute chart, M15. Okay, now we're going to look at the Euro Canadian dollar on the 15 minute chart, M15. Okay, we're good. Okay. Now we're going to look at the Yeah, basically, right now, what we're doing is um, waiting for the right entry. Right now, it's telling us 15225 is a good entry. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for this next uh, candle to formulate, right? I want to show a red candle, which are going to a sell position, okay? Okay. So right now, it's been on an uptrend here. So what I'm waiting for now is, a, is another red candle, which will show me that it's going into a, a sell position, okay? So we're going to wait every 15 minutes is a new candle, okay? So we're just going to watch this particular trade right here, okay? Okay. Okay. Let me just like. So we can just tell you that we can see that we can see that we can see that we can 
，就是 1.5225 OK， 那现在刚碰到了，就是临近的 OK， 那但现在还没有完全哦，现在现现在碰到了 OK， 所以他现在要等说，等下一条蜡烛出现之后，我们再判断说是否进场。能理解我意思吗？就是说，他跟我一样要等到我们的形式明确明朗化之后，才会开始参与交易。在下一个图表出来之前，它是不会交易的，所以我们现在就等说，如果你要用这个程式的话，就要等说，它的下一根，有这十五分钟啊，对不对？等下一根十五分钟后，它的新的柱子出来，新的蜡烛出来了，我们开始去判断来交易。All right, sir, we're good. OK. 那等会我们再回来这张图，因为他想要先教我们一些比较快速的，我们可以立马上手的图像图表。来教我们使用，所以我们现在先看别张图。All right, so we're good. Okay, we're gonna look at this this here formation real hit real quick on Australian dollar Japanese yen. This is this is this could be a good trade we can go into here real real quick too. So tell everyone to switch to the Australian dollar Japanese yen. Okay, 那所以现在我们看到这张图是澳币对日币 AUD 对 JPY. Okay, 那他说这张图等一下我们可以很快，比如说可以开始模拟交易了。所以这个是一个不错的教学例子。Okay, so we're good. Okay, so basically, you can see here every when you use the harmonic scanner, when the D is at the very bottom of the、uh, the formation, that means it's telling you the market is going to be a a high.、Okay. Let everyone know when they see the D at the bottom, it's a buy. When the D is at the top of this、uh, yellow pattern, that means it's a sell. So make sure you understand that. Mike. Hold on, please. Hold on, please. Please. Can you say it again? When you use a scanner, when the D is at the bottom, that means the market is going to be a buy. A buy. When the D is at the top of this yellow pattern, that means it's going to be a sell. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so this this pattern is crab or butterfly. This is a crab. You can see it's always right at the top right here. Okay. Sure. 好，那我们看到现在它滑鼠指标这里。它写的 C R A B crab， 意思是螃蟹的意思，就是这个现在黄色这个图形，长得就像黄螃蟹就就就对了。那低的这个点位，给、okay, 当你的低低点在下的时候，就是我们要做买的时候，买的时间就到了。那当低是整张图是反过来，低是在上方的时候，那我们就做卖的时候。So you mean the D in is in the bottom, so we can do buy. And if your D is on the top, you can do sell, right? Correct. Yes. Then keep going. We're good. Okay. So basically, when we're looking at these patterns, these red candles are sell are sell candles. The blue candle is a buy candle. Okay. So what we're doing right now is we wait、uh, for one of those red candles to push through that entry. Okay. And the, we wait for the blue candle to formulate right above the D. So what I would do right now, I would I would enter this trade right now. Okay. So now we now we see that the last red candle has already hit the red candle at the entry point. The entry price is 8342887. So now our lawyer is ready to start the trade. So we can all start with the phone and take our phones out and start the trade. Okay. So we're good.
Okay, make sure everyone is trading this in their demo account. No one should be trading live money right now. Okay, 那我们现在开始拿出我们的手机，开然后做模拟交易，用澳币对日币来做。Right. Okay. So we want everyone to make sure they're、uh, again using play money here. So what we're doing is we're waiting for.、Uh, let me use this. This is one of the.、Uh, I don't know if how you can explain this, Mike, but I always use what they call a Bollinger band. Okay, this Bollinger band. You see this like little blue cloud. Okay, I want you to look at this, and what I do is you see this line here, and you see the the、uh, the other line at the bottom of the Bollinger band. I wait. I wait for that blue candle to go through that Bollinger band on the bottom, and that gives me a good confirmation. Okay, so tell them that. So can you click up to the bowling? Where can where can I find it? Right here. Okay. Under indicators. From this point, we can use many different graphic images. We can see the bowling band on the top of the graph. This is the meaning of the bowling band. So we click to there. Okay. We can see the bowling band on the top of the graph. We can see the bowling band on the top of the graph. 那我们现在要等了，明确的点，明确的进场点在于说，现在我们的市场的那个蜡烛图明确的碰到了我们底下的紫色那条线，那碰到的时候就是一个很好的机会，就你可以开始从这里开始进场，然后做买。那反之一样，就是如果这个低点在上方的时候，那就是你很好的机会可以开始做卖，懂我意思吧？那各位现在。都理解吧？来理解的话，帮我打个一；不理解，帮我打个二。So give them a second. I mean, I want to、yeah. make sure they all know what I mean. Okay. Okay. I I told them if they understand what I mean, they put one in the communicate. If they don't, they put two. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so keep going. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so remember, anytime you enter a trade, there will always be some type of resistance. So they're not going to enter a trade and go into profit right away, but they can't panic because they see you know some red you know as far as being negative trade right away. That the market moves, so they have to understand this is about extreme patience and understanding、um, that. They're just waiting for those candles. See, the next in the next one minute, there will be a new candle that's going to form because right now it's ten fourteen p.m. ten、uh, fourteen there, and the next fifteen minute candle is getting ready to populate. Okay, okay. 那所以当我们来交易的时候，我们必务必要有很有耐心，因为所有的交易它不是在，比如说一小时或半小时之内完成的。以这张图表来说，那它是以十五分钟为单位做变化的，所以不论如何，要十五分钟后才会出现另外一条蜡烛图。对，那我们看现在才十点十四分而已，所以下一条蜡烛出现的时候是十点半了，所以我们务必要很有耐心去等待下一个蜡烛出现为止。那我们不要紧张，也不要紧张说，然后哎，怎么还没开始？务必要记得，外汇的交易是要花很。一段时间的，它不是我们可以马上赚，然后马上收钱或马上赔钱的，它需要花一段时间去酝酿的，它不是那么快的东西，能理解 ？Okay, so the new candle, uh, is kind of, you see, it kind of having the red and blue, so the bulls versus the bears are kind of fighting to see which way it's going to go right now, but we want this blue candle to push up, you know, push up right here. So the new blue candle is starting to. To、uh, you know, to formulate right here, and anyway, that's what you want to see: two blue candles next to each other. That means it's showing you a really good trend on the ups, on the ups, on the uptrend. So we're kind of waiting to see on this candle if the bulls are going to beat out the bears right now as they fight on this position. That's what we're waiting on right now. What we're looking to do is we're looking for this to push up right around this red line here, which will be like a, a like a support and resistance line in the middle of the Bollinger Band. So right now, for profit, we're looking to go anywhere between our entry, nearly up to this red line, 
that's what we're going to look for right now initially. So you mean we want to look for the second blue candle to push yes. up to the red line? Correct. Okay. Then we, when it push at up to the point, red line, then we at start. Point, at that point there, when it reaches that red line, many times you will get some resistance right here, okay? But when it pushes through that red line, not it will usually go up on this trade right around that take profit two mark. You're looking okay. for that blue candle to push through that red line, okay? Okay, 好。那劳伦斯的意思就是说，那接下来我们要等到，我们可以看到说，现在第，现在已经出现了第二条，现在是红色嘛，对不对？那前一条是蓝色的，蓝色是涨嘛，对不对？那我们现在等下一条的时候，我们也希望看到是蓝色的，它也是往上涨上去的。那最好的情况就是说，它一路涨到。它中间的红色那条线，因为通常说，如果通常说你如果这样现在涨上去的话，在还没到红色的线之前，它会是有一段阻力的，它不会那么那么容易涨上去。但如果碰到红线的时候，它有很大的机会，就会在往上继续涨上去，这样子。所以我们现在希望看到就是说，两条蓝色的先并肩站在一起，并且开始往上涨。那最好的情况就是一路涨到红色的地方，红色的中线。Yeah, so that's what we're waiting on right now. See, when you're trading, it's about extreme patience. Now, when you're trading the scanner, you don't have to sit in front of your computer all day either. What you can do is look at that entry and look at this range here. You can actually set your take profit too,、uh, as far as on you know in your position. And you can also set your stop loss. And you don't have to sit there and watch the trade the whole time. You know what I mean? Just wait for it to do what it's going to do. Because based on the data, this should be pushing up here real soon. Okay. 那劳伦斯意思说，那再次强调，我们必须要很有耐心，因为这笔交所有的交易都不是短时间能完成的。那当然，我们不用整天坐在电脑桌前面。那我们看到说，我们现在紫色的线，它。我们先看到紫色线，它上上各一条，上下各一条啊，对不对？那现在在底部 ，OK。所以通常到碰到底部的时候，会是往上涨，涨到中线以上的 ，OK。所以那我们也不需要说，因为这是一个以今天来说的话，是一个很明显的讯号了，它会往上涨的讯号。所以再来，我们也不用全部一直坐在电脑前面，我们就可以把我们的止损。把我们的止损跟止盈设好，那我们可以去做我们自己事情了。因为我们也不用一直盯着电脑，一直盯着盘，不需要的。那理解我的话，现在打一；不理解的打二，好吗 ？Yep. So like I said, don't panic right now because this red candle, the the bears basically took over the bulls real quick. But it's no worries because based on all the data, we can always rest assured that when that D is here. It's going to take us up in this range. Sometimes it can happen right away. Sometimes it can take a few hours. Sometimes it can take a day. What you have to do is always remember that the scanner is always your friend. Okay. 那再次强调，因为我们这笔交易需要会很花时间来去验证东西的。那不用担心，因为以布林线来说的话，当你市场碰到布林线的底端的时候，通常是会往上升的。所以我们可以。几乎不可以确定，就是说这笔交易是会往上涨的，但涨多快不一定，可能花个几几分钟，或花几小时，或花几天。对，那当然，所以我们把止损止盈设好之后，就可以等待了。那当然，看到这现在最后一条是红色线，也不要紧张，因为以过去这是一个大数据来说的话，碰到了上下两段的话，就一定会往反方向去弹。能理解我说的意思吗？ So basically, tell them on that trade to modify. They can modify their position and put the stop loss here about eight, you know, eight two, eight three, two three eight, and then set their take profit point. We want to set it right below that that Bollinger Band line right there. So let's set that take profit right about eight three seven eight five zero. Eight three seven five seven five zero. Yeah, seven five zero zero. That's right under that Bollinger Band because when you reach those lines, a lot of times you'll see resistance. Okay. 
。OK， sure。那劳伦斯下一站，我们可以开始从模拟仓打开，我们开始做交易。那我们先打到找到 AUD JPY， 就是澳元对日币。找到之后<咳>，我们直接点开交易。那我们做一张。So we just enter the market right now, or we just we should put no, no, no. it. No, 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 no. You, all you're doing is putting your stop loss in on that particular trade. Put the stop loss in. Stop loss and take profit. Correct. Okay. 好，那我们现在就直接开始我们挂我们单。那 AUD 这边我们按我们做市场执行，我们的止损点设在八三。点二三八一一，好，大家一起设八三点二三八一一，哎，好，一一设不到就算了，没关系。<咳>那获利点我们设在八三点七五零。So we're gonna do, Mike. We're gonna we're gonna monitor this trade, and I want to do is I want to go back to I'm gonna go to another pair to give you some education on some of these candles. Okay, so just give me a second. Okay. Okay. Let me finish. Let me finish. Okay. 对，所以那我们现在挂好之后，我们可以直接做买入。Okay. 我们做买之后就可以开始等待交易了。那，哎，会把 could put it, sir. The screen. Can you see? No, we need to see the number. Oh, okay. I want to see stop loss. Stop loss. Yes. Can okay, you see? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can see. Uh, 二二三八，对，八三点，二三八，行吧。那我们的入场点，不是市场执行，我们的获利点就是在八三点七五零。那我们的止损点设在八三点二三八。Also, Mike, make make sure you understand to tell everyone not to make bigger trades if they have a small trading account, because what will happen is you don't want to over leverage, making you know having one dollar trades with a two hundred dollar account. You'd have no, no room to breathe with their trading. So then make sure the key is patience. And the second key is not to be greedy. Those two things. If you have greed and no patience, you'll be a bad trader. Okay, sure. 那务必再次小心提醒说，我们的做的交易手数不要大于，就是务必好好的控管你的仓位，不要太大的杠杆比，不要太大的交易去做手数这笔交易。所以，比如这笔这张单，我们。我们设的时候，我们都设一万美金嘛，所以我们现在设一点零零是没问题的。我们直接做买，就就行了。OK， 所以务必确认不要超出你的你的资产比，不要做的交易大于你的资产比，这是很危险的东西。OK， sir， let's keep going. Okay， I'm gonna I'm gonna look for another pattern. I'm gonna kind of go over some candlesticks. Okay， so give me a second. Let me search for some. 好，那在劳伦斯要教我们一些蜡烛的实际怎么运用，然后怎么判断的。给王总讲一下。想睡醒，想睡醒，让他去。王总房间在隔壁而已，你传讯息给他，给先给王总。你传讯给他吧，我不知道，传讯息，传讯息。Okay, this is a good example here, uh, Mike. Okay, okay. And using these Bollinger bands. Okay, just just let them know this is we're just we're just looking at this pair just for education 
on the blue and red candles. Okay, let them know that. 那在我们要教各位说怎么运怎么判断这个蓝色蓝色的蜡烛土跟红色蜡烛土，那它实际搭配上我们的布林线是怎么运用的？ So let's go. Okay, so if you notice right here, the scanner is usually always accurate. The D was right here at the top. That means it was a cell. The entry was here. And then what we, what we did is we waited for that red candle to formulate. It pushed through the blue Bollinger band. And just like I told you, see, I went all the way down to the red line. And that's when you start to see the resistance, right? That's when you start to see the resistance, right? The middle Bollinger band, the red line. Okay, tell them that real quick. Okay, so now we can also so you can put your mouse on the D point. Yeah, right here. Yeah, so now we can also. First point is the company's that the red point is in this point. Then we can see that the red point is in this point. Then we can see that the red point is in this point. Then we can see that the red point is in this point. Then we can see that the red point is in this point. Then we can see that the red point is in this point. 所以红色出现的时候，就是我们可以很好的入场时机点。那它再碰到，比如我们看到布林加它是一个紫色跟紫色，中间有一条红色的了。OK， 那当我们从顶端接下来红色的时候，好，当我们从顶端接下来红色的时候，会碰到一点阻力，这是很正常的。哎呀。Okay, so if you notice the red line, the, you know, once, once this, uh, once this uh, red candle kind of broke through here, you saw that it always going to have some pullback. So you see it kind of made a decision what it was going to do. It kind of did a pullback here, and eventually it still went with the trend and broke through the red line here. And see how it went down to here? So you always have to pay attention when you break through this Bollinger Band the red line, okay? So sometimes here, you could be happy with those five or six pips of profit right there. You don't have to wait for it to hit take profit one, take profit two, you know, uh, because sometimes you will run into resistance right here, okay? But just know if you follow this trend, it went into the same thing, a lot of consolidation right here. And guess what? Right there, boom, when it broke through that last Bollinger Band right there, you see that? See, I went through consolidation here. And broke that last Bollinger band right there, and look what happened. Dropped all the way down to here. Okay, got it. Okay. Uh, let me think. Mm. Remember, support and resistance line is right here. And then, when eventually, again, the patience, when it broke through this last Bollinger band right here, it dropped all the way down to here. That's why you have to pay attention to these Bollinger band lines. Once it breaks those lines, it generally would go with the trend all the way down. Okay, sure. How? Oh, now we see that. Now, okay, put the mouse in the D point. D point. Okay, so we see that. So, he in the first point is that the Bollinger Band is at the top. Then it starts to drop down. Then we see the Bollinger Band in the middle of the red line. It has a little force. It starts to pull back and forth, pull back and forth, pull back and forth. But we see that. Uh, so they put your mouse in the bot red. Back. Yes, yes. Back, back, back. Yes. I love it. Back. Put it back. Mouse. Sir, put your mouse, put it back. No. Back to the drop down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we can also, when we have a lot of the market, if we have a lot of the market, if we have a lot of the market, if we have 那它就通常就会一路的往下滑落，滑下去，所以务必是先碰到顶端的，顶端的碰到了，再开始在中间碰到红色的线之后，它会来回摆荡 ，OK， 但一旦摆荡过后突破了红色的线之后，它就很大的概率会往下一路跌下去，能理解我说的意思吗？这是一个布林线的基础运用。能理解打一，不能理解打二。Let them know. See, the scanner said to enter here, and see how it broke. It broke way past take profit three. So many times, 
the scanner is usually right. You just have to be patient. So if a trade is going the other way, you must trust the scanner because it usually about 80% of the time will do exactly what it says it's going to do. But you have to be patient in understanding that. But you don't have to be greedy waiting for it to come way down here. You can, you can take a few pips, make, make $20 or whatever that number is, and just be satisfied with taking a profit. Because it's always better to, you can always enter a trade that's a good trade, but it's always bad to get caught into a trade that's bad that's going the other way. Okay? Okay. I, sure. I, know, you, I know you know that. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, I lose a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, so, how? So, we can also say, 那入场点是在绿色线 ，OK。所以公司判断出绿色线开始入场的时候，那很大的概率，所以维绕维持着原本的分析图，会一路往下滑的。就是以劳伦斯来说的话，这是大约八成的概率，有八成会依照公司的数据然后往下滑动 ，OK。只是这个过程会很漫长，但务必要花点时间，耐心的等待，不要急，因为。交易它不是一天两天，不是一小时两小时就可以不就一定可以完成的，可能是一天两天，或者可能到三天四天，所以各位必须要有有点信心，有点耐心。那当然，我们不一定要很贪心说，说我全部赚到 TP 3就是获利点三。OK， 只要我赚个十块、二十块或三十块、四十块，我就很满足了。那我不一定要赚到说 TP 3那么大的获利点，不要。就像我说的。我们执着就好，有赚到了就赚到了。那与其说我要赌那个很大的获利点，然后结果我反而赔掉了，那不如说我只赚了一点点，但我是安全的赚，安心的赚。这样能理解我的意思吧 ？Okay, I'm gonna set. I'm gonna search for another another、uh, example, so we can be clear.、Uh, I just want to show you guys some examples. Okay. Sure. 那再来，劳伦斯再去找一个。其他的例不同的例子来教我们，给我们展示一下不同的例子。那我们刚刚说到这里的，大家都还理解吗？理解打一，不理解打二Okay, going back, going back to the、uh, to the Australian, yeah, sure. Japanese, you see how this is the trade that we were in. You see how it's、uh, the trade is actually going up. So if、yep. somebody entered, so if somebody entered that trade when I said to enter, they should be in profit right now. Yeah, sure. Okay,、uh, let me have you see here. You see here, we said to enter right around here, and that's right、yep. all we have. Yeah. So have ask people. If they're in profit on that particular trade,、uh, tell them to drop a drop a one one one. Okay. 那再我们回到这个是我们刚刚做的挂单的澳币对日币。Okay. 所以我们刚刚在八八三的四四四五附近的时候，我们已经入入场了嘛，对不对？所以当所以理论上来说，我现在应该是已经有赚钱了。Okay. Yeah, we're on the all. We're on the Australian Japanese yen. Make sure they know we're back on that. 对对对，我们是在澳币对日币，所以当你已经赚钱的话，你就打个一一三个一，帮我输入在对话框里面。你有赚钱就打一一。So you see here, everybody is every is any anyone dropping a one for profit? Anybody dropping a one one one? Yeah. Okay. So you see what we're going to do. Now you see, as this blue candle is approaching the red line, that's where you may see some resistance. So remember, you can always take profit from here to here and be satisfied with your profit point. You don't have to be greedy waiting for it to go way up to take profit three. You could say, okay, if your trade plan is I want to make twenty dollars a day, if you make twenty dollars here, close shop and you're done for the day. You see, the thing is, you have to you have to get yourself a plan that you want to execute and be disciplined with the plan. Because once you say 
I'm up $20. I want to see if it goes up to a hundred dollars. That's when the greed sets in. So you have to have the discipline to say, okay, I am totally satisfied with my profit from here to here. Okay. Totally satisfied. Okay. So make sure they understand the discipline of knowing just to close out a trade and profit. Okay. Okay. Sure. 那所以我们这边，王文志讲的是，当我们比如说我们从波林线底端往上弹之后，碰到我们红色线的时候，这段距离通常是很安全的，会往上弹的。Oh, yeah, yeah. OK， 所以这段是一个比较安全，相较于来说是比较安全的获利范围。因为它建议就是说，比如我们现在从底端碰到到中间红色，对，已经到了中间的，那我可能觉得说我今天的目标。就是赚二十美元、三十美元、四十美元，那我今天赚到了，我就要离手了。不一定要把我们的获利点拉到获利点三，那就有点贪心了。对，我们到获利点在红线之下的时候，是因为我们可以去往很安全的区间。对，这边这范围是我们容易去赚到钱的，所以我们就比如说我们这边，比如我今天决定好说，我今天要赚个三十块。就是三十点四十点不是三十点四十点不是三十点四十点不是三十点四十点不是三十点四十点不是三十点四十点不是三十点四十点不是三十点四十点不是三十点四十点不是三十点四十点不是三十点四十点不是三十点四十点不是三十
a lot of times people see it go up and they see it go down. They say, well, let me enter again to try to catch, make more money. And once you do that, that's when you start to hurt yourself because you over leverage. Keep it simple. Don't over trade. And just remember not to be in a position where you get caught uh, hurting your account because you're uh, getting too emotional with the trading. Okay. Okay. Now, 第三条红色的它已经开始往下跌了对虽然看起来是往下跌的趋势没有错但要记住市场总是会来回拉去的 它是一个有很高准确性的概率的，所以布林线通通常会是准确的。所以相信它还会往上涨。那如果你要坚持说涨到或一点二或或一点三的话，那肯定要多个五条蜡烛线或十条蜡烛线才能涨上去。所以永远
uh, that it's going to go up to this point right here. So that's why it's so important just to, you know, again, you don't have to <clears throat> sit in front of your computer all day. You could have entered the trade when I told you to enter, set that stop loss and set that take profit around here and just let the trade do what it's going to do. Okay. So now we have the third thing. We just said the third thing has appeared. Now, if we just wait until it has reached the middle of the green line, the green line, then it has a very high chance of reaching the TP1 to TP2 to TP2. TP 二中间，可以，它很大的几率就突破了，所以我们现在只要耐心等待说，它第三条线或往后的再几条，碰上了红色的线，那碰上之后，你就很大的几率会可以赚到 TP 1跟 TP 二中间，所以我们现在就一样，交易不用说要全全心全意的投入，每天坐在电脑前面等待，不用，而是说我们把它设好了之后，那我们相信这个数据会是这样跑的。我们就把安心的、放心的把交给数据、交给分析、交给公司。那等它跑上去，自然，比如说我们获一点到了，自然会出场。我们赚够了，也就离场了。能理解我意思吗？能理解打一，不理解打二。呃、uh, ，Mike， ask anyone do they have any questions and just you know tell them to put it in the chat and then you ask me the questions they're answering they're asking you. And let's see if we can answer. We want everyone to have full clarity right now. So ask anyone if they have any questions at all right now to type it in the chat, and you just read those questions to me. Okay. Ah, 对那个 administer 反反正是对我们现在这个图是以十五分钟为一个蜡烛为一个单位的。Okay. 所以我们就是每十五分钟会一根蜡烛。那我们在以每等十五分钟，下一个蜡烛出现嘛？我们再慢慢观察。十五分观察一次，十五分观察一次，十五分观察一次，这样子。那劳伦斯刚刚说，如果你现在有任何问题的话，那就欢迎现在提出来，然后我会帮你各位翻译，让劳伦斯帮各位解答，好吗？那你现在有问题的话，就开始提出来，那劳伦斯会帮各，我会帮各位翻译，请劳伦斯帮我们解答，我再翻译给你各位。All right, let's just take a minute to let them okay. think. Oh, Mike, I meant to tell you, man, I need I need your muscles, man. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I got a muscle, man. I love it. <laughs> yeah, you like it? <laughs> Why do you need a muscle? All over. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, 好，那以呃 ，so the question I can answer, so let me answer. Okay. Okay. 那以现在为例的话，就是我们这个图是用螃蟹形的图形来分析的。Okay. 那当我们的看到低点，呃 ，sir, can you put the mouse on the D point? Yeah. 那我们螃蟹的图形，一那低点已经碰到我们布林线，就是看到画面中间有一个紫色的线的线。Okay, 比如在这样子，然后中间有一条红色线。那第一点碰到我们的布林线底端的时候，就是一个我们很好的入场点的时候。因为通常碰到底端的时候，容易反弹，弹上去。那这时候它到红色线之前，它是一个几乎呃比较概率比较大的会反弹到红色中间这个区域。那到红色区域之后，会开始有点来回拉锯之战，拉锯战。OK。但如果只要突破红色线之后，就又一路往上涨，很大几率往上涨，再往上涨到上方的紫色的线。所以就是说，当我们的低点碰到我们布林线底端的时候，就是一个好的进场点，会往上，有很大的几率会往上涨，涨到红色的线。那记得我们不要贪心，赚个三十点、五十点就够了。理解我的意思吗？对，我们只看 M M 十五的变化就好。对 
So you see, you see, it's uh, starting to go back up. So that's where you, that's where the no panic comes in. It's just trusting the trend. So you generally, like I say, you just have to make sure you're paying attention to uh, the D at the bottom of your scanner or the D at the top. So you know what your buy and sell trends are. Uh, you could choose this on any currency. So whatever currency you're looking for, all you have to do is go to the right. These are your brokers here. Okay. So I use JFX because you could trade crypto here. So all you're doing is clicking on this. This is a 15 minute chart. And you could, you could see if the currency that you're, you want to trade is in this, you know, in over here uh, under the said broker. So that's how you look for the currency you, you're looking for. Okay. So, so, so there's always 15 minute. You could search any broker on the 15 minute chart. And sometimes they'll have different ones in there, but yeah, that's how you can check and see which currency you may want to look at. You just search for the one that's got a good setup where you see the D, you know, at the bottom and you see uh, the candles, you know, forming right near that D. And that'll give you a good way to think of that's a good trade I may want to execute. Okay, got it. <coughs> so, so you say, so, if you want to see the D, you just want to see the D, you 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 want 可以做买涨，那低点在波纹线上方的话，可以做买跌，理解我说意思吗？那我们当我们到侧边的时候，这可以 put the screen on this side， 可以。No， this side， this side， this。I want to see it here， I want to see here。Oh， right here。Yeah， yeah， yeah， I want to see the broker。OK。所以当我们看到，我们可以把我们的经济商连接到这这边来。那以劳伦斯来说的话，他第自己习惯用的经济上是 JFX， 因为这里面可以交易我们的数字货币。OK， 所以当我们点开的时候，我们就可以扫描以 JFX 为例去扫描它的市场。那比如说我们要扫描澳币对美金、澳币对日币，那我们可以就可以点进去，然后去比较说它里面的图形是否是达到我们要的需求。比如说哦，刚好第一点碰到布林线底端的。那也许就是好的时机做买的，那比如说低点碰到布林线顶顶端的，就是好时机做卖的时候，对，所以我们可以任意的扫描我们的经济商，那配合扫描我们市场，然后判断说，哎、欸，如果碰到底端的时候，就是一个好的时机，我会想赚钱的时候，他会想投入开始赚钱的时候，这样子能理解吗？各位，能理解帮我打个一，不理解帮我打个二。那还有提问的话，还有问题的话，现在帮我们提出来，赶紧提出来，因为我们今天开会预计时间到十一点，好吗？所以有问题赶紧提出来。So you see the you see the candles kind of making its way slowly, it's making its way up here. So we have another six minutes to the next candle. Okay, another six minutes to the next candle. So we just watch, we wait and we watch and we just watch the candles uh, formulate. So there's a good, uh, what, I, what I would suggest, uh, Mike, is go to YouTube or something like that and maybe look for a Japanese candle tutorial on how to read Japanese candlesticks. Um, you can just key in on YouTube. Maybe you can find or I can find. I'll find something to send to you. But being able to pay attention to candle formations, that way when they see things, the candles are, are your clues, so to speak, when you're trading. So they need to study those candlesticks too, because they can understand, you know, when you see long wigs, short wigs, fat body candles, and that's how you can understand is it's like giving you the blueprint on your trade. So I'll search for a good candlestick video real quick and um, and I'll make sure I send it to you. You can send it out to everybody. Okay, sure. 好，那劳伦斯现在意思说，那我们现在还距离五分钟，下一个下一个蜡烛会出现。那记得我们就保持信心，那不要紧张，他。亏损了，但它仍然是还在我们预期范围之内。它本来就拉锯战的 ，OK， 所以我们在保持信心。那五分钟之后会出现下一个蜡烛图，它现在还是有可能，还是有很大机会会往上涨的。所以我们不要紧张，不要现在做下判断，等它再过五分钟时间，再有新的蜡烛图出现的时候，再我们决定。那劳文斯刚刚也强调出，那我们再会需要，比如我们现在都是领导人，那我们要学会如何。如何去看懂每一根蜡烛的意思？再来，他会劳伦斯会帮我们找一些影片，可以教我们说蜡烛是怎么运用的
，它的长短或者很中心很大的，或是中间一点点，然后上下是两端这样子，虚线很很长的，他会帮我们找一些影片，然后教给我们看，让我们知道说到底这些蜡烛土它是怎么怎么使用的，那它背后带有的含义是什么？他会找给我们看，那他找给我，我再给给各位看，这样子。So we got another four minutes. Okay, 那我们再等四分钟，下一个图图表就出现了。再稍微等一下。So this is this is this is where the、uh, patience comes into play. You know, lately too. On another note, Mike, and the swipe trades have been on fire. Swipe trades have been doing really, really good. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Last night, last night, man, it was incredible. How's that? A lot of pips caught last night on the GPB USD the trade they called, and the USD CAD. A lot of money made on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We made a lot of money today. We we're training about how to use the swap trade. Then we thought I kind of I use my thought to tell them where is the good time to when GPB USD we can go in. Then we go in really fast about twenty pip to thirty pip. Then we take out, then we take a profit. Everybody like it. It's good. Good, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all, you guys recorded that so everyone could see it. Yes, we recorded it. Did you by by any chance? Did you ever finish that swipe trades video? Not yet, not yet. But the, we're doing this. I'll stay here for ten. You know. Okay, I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you some uh some Bitcoin today. Okay. Okay, love it, love it. So we're I will stay here until the all the education product we're ready. Then I'll go back to Taiwan. Okay, good deal, good deal. I appreciate you, Mike. No, it's alright, it's alright. Okay. okay, now look, now look. You see how the blue candle starting to push up? 对，那大家看到看到说，我们现在蓝色蜡烛图又开始往上涨了，已经开始往上涨了。对。Yep, so it's pushing near the it's pushing up near that red line. If it yeah, pushes、yeah. through that red line, this next candle, we got two minutes. Two minutes coming, so everyone should be in profit on this trade.、Yes. Everybody on this call should be in profit right now. Okay. Okay, I see you. I see you, big fella. Okay.、Yes. So yeah, we're we're just waiting right now for this next candle to formulate, and I'm thinking you're going to see another blue candle that's going to come. And it's going to push right through here, right through here. And if it pushes through, if that if that wick pushes through this red. Is more than likely about eighty percent is going to run right up here, and see right here. We don't want to wait till it goes past this Bollinger Band. We want to be comfortable with taking profits right before this next line, because that is going to be resistance. So once it hits here, it's probably going to drop. Okay, so we have to pay attention to that. Okay. Okay. 那我们看一下说，那如果刚刚各位有交易的话，那现在应该是有在获利的情况下。Okay. 所以我们现在蓝色的这个蜡烛图。已经很靠近我们中间的红色这条线了，所以，所以现在只要我们在一分钟的时候，新的蜡烛就会出现的。那只要突破之后，有八成的几率会在往一路在往上突破。那我们不要等到它又碰到上端的布林线 ，OK？ 因为一碰到之后，它突破几率也不是很高，可以。所以我们碰在碰到之前，我们就可以结束我们部分的获利，然后并且就直接出场。能理解我意思吧？有，只要突破红色的线之后，就有八成的几率会再继续往上成长。那我们不要等到它突，它不要去赌说它突破布林线继续往上涨，这个一定会碰到阻力的。所以通常碰到布林线的上端或下端的时候，一定会碰到一些阻力，然后并且反弹回来，这是很正常的事情。Okay, so we're about time. Okay, so you see this red,、uh, red candle starting to formulate. So we're just going to wait and see what it does. But it should turn blue, and go right through here. But this is basically how you know you just basically what I just taught you guys today is paying attention to the D. Okay, waiting patiently for the next candle to 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 validate your trend. So make sure you see the next blue candle right above the D. For, you know, you have to wait for that blue candle to formulate. If the D was at the top, you will wait for the red candle to formulate. 
because that's a sell trend, okay? See, right now it's getting a little bit of pullback, but we expect for this to go all the way up here. So, you know, it's kind of, you know, a good lesson today kind of just sharing with you, with you guys is entering, uh, basically using this bolster band as, a, as an indicator. Um, but, yes, the more and more you practice this in the demo account, what I suggest people do is this too, Mike. In trading, find one or two currency pairs that they study. Just, just don't pay attention to any other currency pairs when they trade on their own. Just find one or two currency pairs that that is your money shot. Like you're going to study that like you're dating it, okay? That way you know the tendencies of when the highest point, lowest point, you know what part of the day you have a lot of consolidation. So do you know when to trade that particular pair and when not to? So study one or two currency pairs and just make that what you're going to study and you get a chance to learn that. Once you do that, your trading will go way up because you're not paying attention to a whole bunch of other currencies that you're not familiar with. Okay. Okay. So now, 他说，今天就是一个很好的学习经验，就是说，那我们刚好碰到了我们的波林线底端，低点碰到波林线底端，然后并且我们也开始盈利了一些。小部分的获利 ，OK。那罗恩斯建议就是说，我们平常我们就固定选两种不同的货币对，比如美金对日币，或是澳，再加上英镑对欧对美金之类的。那我们就专心的研究这两种货币对，就像我们在跟他交往一样，我们要好好了解他，好好爱他，好好珍惜他。对，那要很了解才了解这这种货币对，那就不要管别的货币对。当我们在练习的时候。配合我们的习惯上班语练习的时候，嗯，专注于两种货币对，好好练习，那我们就可以大幅的增加。比如你要去了解它，它应该正常，比如美金对日币的时候，它平常的趋势是怎么样子，要好好的去了解，去摸摸透彻，这样子。那所以，在你就不用管其他不同的货币对 ，OK， 所以我们就好好钻研在这样这样的情况下，那我们就可以专心的学，专心的学。那这样子进步的幅度就比较快，也比较大，比较显著，这样子。So, sir, now it's about to eleven o'clock, so they need to rest. So, anything you want to, anything you want to tell, just tell them.、Uh, I hope they learn. So, tell them to drop a seven 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 if they learn some good stuff today. Just tell them to drop a seven seven seven. Okay. 那如果你今天我们因为我们今天时间差不多了，那如果你觉得今天有学到东西的话，就帮我在留言里面。打七七七三个七。那如果你还有问题的话，那我们就到群组里面私信。那我会我会再把问题统整起来，再发给劳伦斯，请他帮我们解答。所以如果你今天有学到的话，帮我打七七七。So、uh, what we can do is uh, tomorrow, uh, the same time tomorrow, we do ten o'clock again tomorrow. We'll do some more training and we'll, we'll go over some more scanner stuff tomorrow at ten o'clock. OK， 那劳伦斯说，我们明天，也许明天我们有空的话，就明天同样时间。No, you know what, Mike? Mike, let's make it eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Oh, sure, sure, awesome. OK， 那也那就劳伦斯这样说了。那明天同一个晚上，就明天晚上我们改成明天八点的时间，那我们也可以再重新做一次扫描仪的教学以及训练，帮各位大家再带来更多的学习经验。这样子，在明天晚上八点的时候。那我们这边瞧好跟这个劳伦斯说，没有双方没问题的话，我们在明天晚上八点来再进行学习。Okay, sir. All right. I do want to tell everybody, uh, I I appreciate them. Uh, thanks for their patience. Uh, and on another note, um, I'm working on the back end, uh, with Chris Terry getting the videos translated, and also uh, putting a rush on uh Bitcoin commissions. So just let them know. I appreciate their patience, and、uh, just know that I'm working very, very hard, and you guys are my 100% focus. Okay. Okay. 那劳伦斯说，他非常非常感谢各位的耐心。今天的不论是今天的学习也好，还是一直以来等待公司的有新的技能也好，那劳伦斯已经跟我们公司的执行长克里斯泰克里斯泰瑞，他已经一起紧密的合作。在积极的推动，不论是我们把所有产品中文化，还是赶紧把我们的比特币的付款开通，他们都十分积极的重视这一块，并且十分积极的在进行这些东西。OK， 所以老师很感谢各位的耐心，非常感谢各位这样子。
Where, uh, where's Where's Aaron? Is Aaron next to you? No, yeah. Aaron should be. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, Aaron. Aaron what's <laughs> going on? <laughs> uh, you get some, You get some good information today, Aaron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Good man. I, I, hey, listen. I appreciate your leadership, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So tomorrow at eight o'clock, we will do eight o'clock uh, your time, eight o'clock p.m. tomorrow for you, and we'll do some more training on the scanner tomorrow. See if we can get some good uh, tray setups for tomorrow. Okay. Okay. See you tomorrow. Eight o'clock, same the same link, and get as many people as you can on. And we're going to take advantage of Mike, and I'll send this recording uh, over uh, to you, Aaron, and that way people can you know use that under the archives. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Appreciate you guys. Thank you, Thanks so much. Thank you, appreciate Mark. you, Mike. Okay, appreciate you guys. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. You're welcome for you. Okay, let's talk. Go, go. Oh, <laughs> 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 